And obviously Seattle's such a huge music town. I mean, were you influenced by a lot of a lot of bands from that area? Is that did that get you interested in playing music? Yeah, I mean, I'd sure. say like I can say for myself that I was, you know, predominantly raised on local music. <laughs> and that's kind of what influenced me and why I started playing music in the first place. So yeah, definitely. And like the diversity in Seattle is amazing. Like you can like any kind of music and you'll find it in that city. So I think that's one of the reasons why I think Seattle's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, we have tons of friends there, and it's been cool seeing all the all our friends' bands get, you know, on labels and doing a lot of tours and stuff, so we're finally getting our first debut record out, and now we're kind of getting on the same boat with them, so it's been a, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> What's it seem like up there? Is it pretty, pretty good right now? Yeah, Alice in Chains, Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right now there's, I mean, there's always like a bunch of really cool, like interesting uh, music um, available there, up there. Like, a lot of the fan, a lot of the kids that go, come come to see local acts. So like, if you're a touring band going through Seattle, sometimes it can be challenging unless you've like got a really good base like everywhere to like draw like a good crowd. A lot of kids just come to see who they want to see in Seattle, so that's kind of weird. But as far as like, um. <clears throat> The scene, it's very strong. I mean, there's a lot of really young, like, good talent coming up, and I'm excited to see, like, the next few years. I think there's going to be some really cool bands coming out. Definitely. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, are there any other songs specifically on the record that you wanted to talk about or kind of stood out to you or anything like that? Let's see, um... I think one one really interesting thing. There's a song that we just started playing live um, called "One More Chance," and it actually does involve um, <coughs> a little. There's a little uh, breakdown towards the end that um, the piano melody is like the intro to the first EP that yeah. they released when yeah. before we were even in the band. So kind of obscure. I think it's really it's really cool because it kind of incorporated that melody, which you know old fans that have heard that CD will be able to connect and kind of hear it and be like, wow, that's cool that they threw that in there. So, like, I'm really excited to, to see the reaction for the old school fans. It's old. Because yeah. that's, like, yeah. that's old school, yeah. Yeah, if you heard that first EP and you hear this new one, you're going to be like, what? Yeah, it's it's definitely, <laughs> like, I mean, it was a long time ago, so it, it, yeah. it'll be cool for those fans. And, and one guy in his 30s. And I love that there. song, too. <laughs> I'm really excited for that song because it's just so, it's yeah. so fun to play. And another one that's going to be really fun to play live is going to be this track called Things. That's going to be, it's just like a rocking, straightforward, like, fun song. It's going to, I can't wait to start playing that one live. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. There's like a, there's another song um, called uh, Slow Dance with a Stranger that's, uh, it's cool. It's like kind of got like a creepy... Uh, James Bondy vibe to it. Yeah. Um, so it's it's really fun because, you know, again, we're kind of just experimenting with different like styles and feels to, to music and how we can incorporate it to like, the pop world kind of. Mm -hmm. So, it's fun. Um, I'm trying to think, there's all the tracks I really like like individually. They they're also also different. Like uh, what's the other one, uh, Alive for the First Time. That one's like has a, such a different feel to it. It's like but it fits in the record somehow. It's just like, wow. It's just completely different. Like, like even for me, like, the drums, like, I think it's hilarious because I didn't play any cymbals on the whole song. It's just, like, a funny thing for me. <laughs> it's like we recorded with no cymbals on the drum set at all, and it was just, like, really dry. It's just, it has got a cool feel. And that's, I think that song's going to connect with a lot of people. That's my favorite song. <laughs> <clears throat> and what do you guys sort of think the piano kind of brings to, to you guys' the sound? I would I would consider like um, very crucial part of a lot our music. Of, a lot of bands have keyboards these days, especially, and um, I think something cool about our band is that we really like like the 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 keyboard is very important to us. You know, like it's kind of a, sort of a backbone with the drum and bass. I think it's mm -hmm. very um, it's very essential to our music. So yeah, it's less of like just coloration, yeah. but yeah. it drives the music. So. Yeah. It's a definitely yeah, a more driving instrument um, than, say, other bands would use, like a synth for it, just kind of... <coughs> just like hold the window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we cool. definitely like to use the keyboards as, like, you know, the backbone. Yeah, so. we try to use every aspect of it, like the synthesizers, the you know, normal acoustics, and, like, the Wurlitzers. We just try to, you know, get all, all out of it, you know. If we're going to have them, you know, we're going to 
use them to a full potential. Yeah. And how would you guys sort of describe the live show, maybe for people who haven't seen you before? Um, it's definitely uh, it's a very upbeat show. We like to have fun. I mean, we're all jumping around, acting like fools on stage, and we really just try to get you know everybody to to break out of their their uncomfortable shell and just kind of get wacky, you know, because it's fun. It's a lot more fun to see like a crowd, you know, acting crazy and just having fun and connecting to the music that way. Because we're not a serious <clears throat> band. We're very we like to have a lot of fun, and so when we play, we try to bring that to to the stage. Do you want people to like dance or like yeah. what's right. the ideal? <clears throat> Definitely. Dancing, Dancing is nice. Um, Dancing is nice. Preferably no fighting, I guess. I mean, it's yeah. just kind of weird. Don't Our fight. crowds are pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> Circle pit every time. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sorry. dancing is great. It's just like as long as you <clears throat> can see them vibing, you know, that's really what it is. Just being able to see that they're connecting to the music and, and that they're expressing it however they are, you know? That's really what I look for when I'm playing. Yeah, sometimes it's cool even just to see, like, the after, like the aftermath of, like... Because, like, we've been playing to such new crowds on these little past tours that, like, a lot of the times, you know, they won't know any of our songs. They'll know a few songs, and we'll play new songs. They're it's just, like, completely silent. And I, I almost feel like that's kind of cool, because then I really, like... It, it makes me want to play better because I want to ha make sure that they have a good reaction towards the songs. And then after afterwards, like to, at the shows, I always get like really cool like comments like, "Wow, that's really different. Wow, like, I've never heard that before." It's like yeah, wow, you different. don't sound anything like anyone. It's like, wow, those are the that's greatest a, comments great. ever. You know, like the, the originality is like that's one of the hardest things to do. You know, I mean, to you know, to get, I guess, like. Be, that's the coolest comment I, I think anyone could give to anyone. It's like, wow, you're original, even though it's so hard to be. Like, we're not trying to be original. We know we're never going to, you know, be completely original, but I think that's the cool part about the shows. And, like, and talking with the kids and, like, noticing, like, that wow, wow aspect. And what else do you guys sort of have planned for the rest of the year, aside from the, the Q tour? We're just going to try to keep on touring as much as possible. I think it's that time, you know, as soon as the record gets out, we're just going to be on the road as much as possible, pushing the record, um, maybe planning just maybe a trip overseas if we if we can, and, you know, um, yeah, just pushing the record as much as possible. Definitely. Cool. Is there anything else you guys want to add, or does that cover everything pretty much? That's, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. And go buy the record. <laughs> yeah, go buy the Listen record. <laughs> Spend money. <laughs> yeah. well, that should be good for me unless there's anything they want. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can have your coffee now. Oh, you're good. Yes. Sweet.